lovely viewers you are welcome to the national journal this is a channel solely dedicated 100 percent dedicated to the arts culture and tv if today is your first time please subscribe to join our vibrant community thank you my lovely viewers thank you so much for always being with us and supporting us you are welcome once again to the national journal in today's episode of the national journal i'm going to touch on a very important thing for which i think it will help promote our culture as a people two important things now we all know that this year marks the 25 years anniversary celebration of otun for osei tutu the asante Hene. and as part of the celebration something remarkable has happened for which i have never seen that is the reason why i want us to you know talk about this deliberate so that you can all bring your ideas on board share your thoughts so that we grow as a community now the, the first thing is that on the march 18th which was monday this week monday something remarkable happened there was a press release from the Manchia palace captioned public announcement and it read as this the chairman of the planning committee of Otun Force 25th anniversary, the Silver Jubilee celebrations, Nana Otu Sribo II, Jabrehini, has announced the launch of the official website and formally designated Opemso FM, the official radio station of Manchia Palace, as the official radio station for the celebration. The website which is www.otunfo.at25.com provides the platform for the dissemination of real-time information about the celebration as well as a comprehensive data on the illustrious reign of the 16th occupant of the Golden Stool. With the launch of the official website, Nana Otuos Rebo has declared the way open for corporate bodies and individuals wishing to support the celebration to do so. Donations will be received in the usual manner. However, business enterprises and individuals wishing to produce souvenirs or commemorative merchandise for commercial purposes are required to apply for a license from the committee. And the stamp chief of state Mencia Palace this is a laudable idea and i think we should all clap for it oh yes this is chieftaincy embracing modernity now there are two things that i would want to touch on for this first part of the session the first being the press statement you know we usually talk about corporate bodies and state institutions not dealing with with citizens rights not uh, 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 informing citizens of state institutions the the formal way you realize that this press statement is straight to the point it makes it clear the official designated radio station for this program in fact for the fact that they have even chosen a radio station as part of this celebration so that people can get their information from in this press statement for a traditional ceremony that is where my attention is you realize that we have a lot of festivals that go on in ghana over the years and in several parts of africa but you realize that anytime the time is due for the celebration of the festival or other commemorative cultural event there is no such thing as a designated official radio or tv station whereby people who want information about such events can do corresponding with and so i think this is a very good idea that every other cultural event in ghana can emulate or even do better than this they can even do better than this when it is about some months to the celebration you bring out a public announcement designating who to contact and what to do this is a louder button and i believe that we can all applaud and comment 
in the spirit of unity and in the spirit of supporting something which is very good Mencia has done very well the public announcement is straight to the point the chief in charge of this celebration has come out with a public announcement and is straight to the point you know uh, there are instances where there is going to be a festival or an event a, f- a, f- a funeral of a queen mother or of a chief a celebration of a festival or a chief doing something remarkable in Ghana supporting school players and stuff and you see different communications coming from different chiefs but this one there was a chief or there's a committee and the head of the committee being a chief has come out with this official press statement so this is very good now this is the first time i am seeing such a historic event cultural event like a king's number of years on the throne that comes with a website as you are seeing in the visuals the website has details of the festival the website is beautifully crafted in the official colors of the ashanti kingdom you know the ashanti has their official colors being gold black and green and so the designers of this website did not just do it anyway from a, from an artistic point of view you can see that the website is beautifully themed to suit the official colors of the Mencia palace or the ashanti kingdom for the sake of our friends who are not Ghanaians and for even Ghanaians who do not know the the meaning of the the black yellow or gold and green colors of the ashanti flag the gold meaning people who are rich in mineral resources the black part of the flag stands for africans and the green represent the forest belt so in short black africans who are so rich and live in the forest belt of africa or black africans who are so rich who live in the vegetation or the vegetation area of africa that is it bibinia oti ingram that is how we say it in tree obibinia or ye or the four oti ingram and like i said the the website is beautifully crafted it's not noisy you are not going to see a lot of distractions you get other vital informations you know there's also the countdown to the event and guess what there are contacts of people the the committee secretary the protocol and the media all these information are very clear on the website and then you have the opportunity to see all the events that are lined up this is what i say is a good job well done now let's move on now another thing that i want to touch on in the press release that came out aside the mention of the website is the fact that there is also the mention that the anniversary cannot be possible without the inclusion of the populace the accounts say that yeah the edom and the yard yeah. if you want something to be done well and big you do it with a lot of people so again the press statement went straight to say that all donations will be received in the usual manner people who usually donate to such events know how they do the donations and they know the channels through which they send the donations and so the press release again reminded donors that you know the channel and we are going to do it the usual manner i think for this part for those who will be first time donators they will not know the usual manner but then there is also the information that if you want to know anything about this celebration or permiso fm is the official media so if you are a first time donor and you don't understand the usual manner in this letter contact up him so and then again it went on to conclude that if you are a media house or if you are a corporate body and you want to take advantage of this to produce souvenirs it doesn't matter which part of ghana you come from it doesn't matter which part of ghana you reside in just come for a license from the committee to produce souvenirs and this i say is something beautiful and commendable 
when tradition embraces technology, when tradition and culture embraces modernity, there are so many things that can be done to uplift and sell our culture to gain more revenue to educate the next generation if our culture and our cultural leaders embrace technology embrace modernity and use it in the right context to sell and promote it, culture and tradition and i think this is a clear example of this beautiful marriage between culture and modernity culture and technology and for which i think we can comment and say bravo and a good job well done now that is not the only thing the second session that i want to also touch on is the cloth that has also been produced as part of the silver jubilee of Otunfo on the throne as the asantehini and this is the cloth it's a black and white cloth gtp black and white cloth you can see a lot of things in it for which i'm going to take time to explain to our people who do not understand who are not Ghanaians, and those even if they are Ghanaians, do not understand some of these traditional symbols and intrigue cases the first point of view that i want to bring our attention to is the central theme that is so visible and clear on this cloth that is a picture a silhouette picture that is a black and white picture of Otunfo surrounded by his name Otunfo Osei II II underneath having the 25 years of local and global impact which I believe is part of the themes for the 25th Silver Jubilee celebration of Otunfo Osei II as the Asante Hen. Now, when you leave this central theme, you will see a lot of background effects. The first one that I want to bring your attention to is Adinkra symbols. There are some Adinkra symbols in this cloth that I will want to bring our attention to. You know, Adinkra symbols are Ghanaian symbols. They are not only Ashanti symbols. They are Ghanaian symbols. There are Ghans in Ghana who have the Adinkra symbols there are ashantis who have their adinkra symbols there are kapims who have their adinkra symbols there are chimps who have their adinkra symbols i even got to know that there are even ls who have their adinkra symbols so adinkra symbols are not only for the ashantis they are Ghanaian symbols that speaks volume but the word adinkra is named after the german the german tribe who originated from, from the Bono area, the king of German, you see, uh -huh, who was Nana Adinkra. And there's a long story behind it. It's a long history behind it for which we will talk about another time. But I want to talk about the Adinkra symbols here. There is one Adinkra symbol that stands out here, the Jinyame symbol. It's a symbol that talks about one's reliance and trust in God. The Jinyame is an Akan word which simply means only god or except god once again aside the edinkra symbol jinyame one can also see the beautiful edinkra symbol now the edinkra symbol is simply chief of edinkra in fact the edinkra symbol means the chief of the edinkra symbols it is a symbol of greatness charisma and leadership in essence the cloth is trying to say that this cloth belongs to the king of kings or the chief of chiefs because the edinkra symbol edinkra hini simply means the chief of edinkra and edinkra is the symbolic language of greatness so if there is the edinkra hini symbol in this cloth it means if there is any greatness then this is the chief of the greatness aside the edinkra hini i can also see another beautiful adinkra symbol called the akufuna the akufuna the akufuna symbol is also a very renowned adinkra symbol which is the symbol of war akufuna ekon afina it is a marriage of two words ekon or akum war war in tree is akum or asa so akum is war we are going to war yeyeko akum and afena afena is the akan word for sword so akofena is the sword of war 
It is a symbol of courage, valor, and heroism. It is a symbol of courage, valor, and heroism. So, once the Akofana is part of this beautiful cloth, it is just selling and signifying that the king is a king of war. This king is a hero. It's signifying that this is a king of courage and of valor. Bear in mind, this is the the reincarnation of Otunfo Osejitu the first. In the Akan traditional system, when a chief picks the stool which has been blackened for posterity and is called the second or the third, traditionally it is seen as the comeback or the reincarnation. So, when Otunfo Osejitu the first died, his stool was blackened or his stool was preserved for posterity to inherit it. And this is Otunfo Osejitu the second. So, he is the reincarnated Otunfo Osejitu the, the first, or he is the comeback. That is why, traditionally, we call the Asantehene as Abebiu. We give him the traditional accolade as Abebiu. Abebiu means, I have come again, someone who has been reincarnated. And the reason why I'm explaining this is because Otunfo Osejitu the first was a warrior. And so, if he has been reincarnated, then people must be reminded that it is that same warrior spirit, it is that same courage and valor spirit that is still alive in the present Otunfo Osejitu II, the Asantehene. Once again, I can also see another beautiful Edinkra symbol, and that is Aya. The Aya symbol is a very remarkable and renowned Edinkra symbol. In fact, Aya is a fern. A fern is a plant, a very highly medicinal plant, and it is an Edinkra symbol. The Aya is a symbol of endurance and resourcefulness. And so, it being present on this cloth is just telling people or the wearer that for the, for the king to reign for 25 years is just by sheer endurance and resourcefulness. And for you, the wearer, anytime you put on this cloth, be reminded to be resourceful and endure. That is what the whole idea of this cloth. You can recount numerous times that there are sub-chiefs in the Ashanti kingdom who have been relinquished of their of their stools. They have been destroyed because of some bad things that they did to tarnish the name of the paramountcy that they reside or or rule over. They tarnish the name and the image of Asantehene because he is their lord or he is the overlord of all those paramounties. So the king had to endure a lot of things. That is the reason why the Aya is part of this beautiful cloth. Now, another Edinkra symbol that I can see, which is very remarkable, that if you do not open your eyes, you will not actually see, is a modification of the Sankofa symbol. Sankofa is an Adinkra symbol which talks about going back to our roots to bring back the good, beautiful, old tradition that helps us. It is return and get it. It is a symbol of importance of learning from the past. It reminds us to learn from the past. It reminds us to not forget the past because you can only learn from the past if you remember or if you are reminded of the past. It is part of this cloth because in order for the people of Ashanti to move forward, they need to be reminded of who they are, what they stand for, the essence of their existence, the essence of their unity, and the lessons of these things will then push them to forge ahead. Then I can also see another beautiful Edinkra symbol, which is called Ohini Eniwa. Ohini Eniwa, translated in English as the eye of the king the eye of the king now the the meaning of this edinkra symbol is foresight intelligence protection security authority and power there is an akan adage that ohini eniwa etranihuesia the eyes of the king are around him it simply means that the king has so many things that serve as witnesses or point of, of, of sight 
to make the king safe the king is surrounded by a lot of ice or in any way there are several systems and structures that are put in place to protect the king that is why it is a symbol of vigilance it is a symbol of foresight it is a symbol of intelligence and protection it is also the symbol of security and defense it is also the symbol of authority and power that is the meaning of this edinkras symbol just letting you know that the king asantehini who is celebrating his silver jubilee including this edinkras symbol in the in the cloth for the silver jubilee is just trying to connote the idea that he is a king and because he is a king he has a lot of system and structures in place that gives him foresight that gives him protection that gives him intelligence that gives him authority that gives him power that gives him security that gives him vigilance that is all that it is trying to see and again if you are not the king and you are any ordinary citizen who is interested in this cloth anytime you put on the cloth just remind yourself that you should be like your king that is you should have foresight you should have systems and structures in place to protect you to secure you to give you power and authority in whatever you are doing and you should just be vigilant you should just be vigilant so far these are the ones that i can see in this beautiful cloth so there is the aya there is the akofena there is the edinkrahene there is the jinyame there is the sankofa and then there is the ohene eniwa these are the edinkra symbols i can see so far but aside these edinkra symbols there are other elements that add up to make this cloth a very beautiful and traditional cloth i can also see the beautiful the peacock feathers if you can if you have eyes to see if you are an artist like myself who also design cloth and, and stuff and understand traditional symbols and meaning you can clearly see that there is a peacock feather in this cloth there is a peacock feather in this cloth and this is very amazing this is really amazing to add peacock feather in this cloth speaks volume you see traditionally the peacock feather symbolizes good luck elegance beauty immortality rebirth royalty wealth and divine femininity peacock is is an animal of royal royalty it is all, only royals and prominent people that can afford to have peacock in the akan language we say peacock is abrimpomwa it is an abwa for abrimpong it is an animal that is kept by abrimpong by people who who are of status who are renowned because their size and the feed and what can be fed them cannot be, be kept by 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 ordinary citizens you see ordinary citizens or ordinary people uh, keep the normal chicken or cock but to keep a, a peacock that, that that means you are going a step further yes so i can see it in it now traditionally the peacock feather added to the cloth is connoting that this is a cloth a cloth of royalty this is a cloth of elegance this is a cloth of beauty again it is it is selling the message that the king who is celebrating his silver jubilee is a celebration of beauty a celebration of of elegance a celebration of rebirth a celebration of worth and it is a sign of good luck that the 25 years celebration should be a good luck to the king so that there can be the golden or the diamond or the platinum anniversary yes we are wishing the king good luck and we are wishing him long life and rebirth so that there can be another king who will come who will pick that same stool to become a tomb for or say to the third aside this i can also see the official symbol of the ashanti kingdom that is the porcupine an animal known for its tenacity and resilience a porcupine can kill a lion can kill an elephant a porcupine can kill any other animal because of the talons the talons the things at the back the spear at the back they are called talons that is why there is an adage in the akan that kotoko 
or kotoko that is the porcupine in the Akana language ukum apema apem ebeba they are resilient and they they are tenacious again i can also see another beautiful ashanti symbol that only belongs to the ashanti kingdom that is the denchemche the denchemche is a helmet that has the symbol of the golden stool and the bells that announces the presence of the golden stool on it it is called the denchemche this is the official royal symbol of the Mencia Palace and the Asante Hene. I can also see an, a, another symbol that is the stool. The stool here is just announcing that this is a cloth of royalty. This is a cloth that belongs to a king. It's not for an ordinary person because, you know, in the Akan co community, black and white cloths are worn for funerals and for. And for several events but the presence of even the denchemche and the stool is just trying to let you know that this is a cloth that is originating from a king or a chief or from a palace and so you should be very careful how you treat it and how you wear it so these are the symbols in this beautiful cloth this is this is a gtp cloth and you know gtp cloth are timeless marking the 25th silver jubilee celebration of open swore santa hini nana osei tutu the second and like i said that is what i wanted you to understand and know this is national general where we talk about art culture and tv if you if you if you if, you, if you've loved today's episode kindly comment in the comment section if i did not see any other symbol Please remind me also type in the comment section. If you are happy about this uh, edition and you think it is a learning, you, you've learned something new, just type in the comment section that, oh, for the first time I have learned this so that we can grow to become a vibrant community. Like I always end my videos by saying, stay away from drugs. Don't do drugs. Don't abuse any form of drug because we need you alive to serve your nation ghana to to serve our continent africa to serve your family and your friends god be with you bye bye